I was a guy in high school who had to be the class clown, who had to not do his homework, who had to party, who had to throw the parties, who had to make myself stand out. My brothers uh, both kind of fell away from me. My father wasn't around. Um, my stepdad was working all the time. I just, I had no one really to go to. I just grew up in a broken home and because of that, I lived in a world where I just wanted to please everyone else. I wanted everyone else's approval. I remember the guy who came and recruited me told me CSU was a Christian campus and my response was, well, I, my family's Catholic. First time uh, I ever saw a professor pray in a class, I was like, what are we doing? Put your hand down. <laughs> I didn't understand why we were holding hands. I didn't understand why we were praying. I thought praying was for church. The guys on the football team here, um, these guys were pretty diligent just to seek out my time. They would ask to do things for me. They would pay for my meals. They'd ask me to hang out with them, and, and I was I was rude to them. Uh, I was openly just rude to their face. I, didn't, I really didn't want anything to do with them. Um, and I saw Christ by what they did for me, by how they loved me, how they took me in when I didn't deserve it, when I literally could have spit in their face and they would have just wiped it off and just continued to love me and just ask to be my friend and just show Christ's love to me, even though I didn't want it. The night I got saved, I was at FCA. Um, our coaches said that all athletes had to be there. So I went and uh, Adrian Dupree, uh, was given a message on well, what would you do for someone uh, to to bring them to Christ, and he gave the image that if someone, if all someone had to do was look at the cross to be saved, how much would you shake them and hold them down and turn their head to get them to look at the cross? And it was in that moment I realized that that's what my friends had done for me, that they had shaken me, that they had pulled me and just said, Zach, we just want you to look. Like, just look, and if it's not appeasing to you, move on. But we just want you to see the love of Christ. And it was in that moment that I surrendered my life to the Lord, and uh, I began to pursue Him. Uh, before I ever dove into His Word, I just saw the heart of God. I never thought that I would be responsible. I never thought that I would be as loving or as caring for people. Uh, growing up, I was always about myself and, you know, farthering my ground as to where I stood. And instead, now, farther the ground where other people stand and just let God have the glory for it.